No, your eyes aren't deceiving you. This is dark screen. I know. I look different than the last time I showed myself on camera. In fact, let me pull a picture up. As you can see right there, I have went on a crazy weight loss journey. I used to be a real fat bastard ever since I started making videos here. But since the beginning of this year, I started off 322 pounds. Now I'm down to 180. It's freaking amazing. See this 2XL shirt? Barely fit on me. And, and, and now look how baggy it is. Look, it used to be tight on me. Man, look at this. Look how small I am. Ooh, yeah, finally. Woo, got some arm tombs right here. Yeah. Okay, that's probably not that impressive, but I don't know. I like the way it looks. It's all because I've been playing mostly this freaking game right here. Um, as well as a fitness boxing game that I bought at the beginning of the year, but I have that digitally, so I can't show you that. But I'm not here to talk about my weight loss journey. I have more pressing matters to attend to. For those who watch my channel for my anime content, let me just start off and apologize. Um, I did not put out a whole lot of content relating to anime this year. Um, I've put out a Gundam X review. I've talked about Gundam here and there, but I haven't really done much of anything else. Mostly because I haven't been watching anime, but you know, I've been doing, putting more time into video games. But I really should be putting out some anime and doing some discussions about them. Oh yeah, and I, I talked a little bit about Robotech if that counts for you guys. Um, because apparently Harmony Gold just can't let fucking things die. But, I do want to try to get into the flow of things. But every time I say that, I never do. Instead, I'm just sinking my time into a JRPG. But, I might do some different things with my anime reviews. I might actually make some quickies, some off-the-cuff quickies. And see if that still is good enough content for you guys or whatever. Um, but the second thing I want to talk about, most of y'all know I've been getting into the Gundam franchise and I do want to check a lot of things out of that series, the good and the bad. And I have seen what could possibly be the worst Gundam thing that's ever made. It's not C Destiny. It's, n it's not Double Zeta either. It's not G Rico. It's not Wing. I'm not even going to do a contrarian opinion here. No, and it's not even G Gundam. I actually really enjoy G Gundam despite how bad and cheesy it is. I am talking about... For Gundam's 20th anniversary, they released a direct-to-TV movie known as G-Savior. Anime fans, and maybe some Gundam fans, did you know that there was a live-action, a Western live-action direct -to tv movie of Gundam? If you answered no, I wouldn't surprise you. Because this is Sunrise's old shame. This is their fucking Star Wars holiday special. They, they, they don't want anyone to know about this uh, fucking uh, monstrosity. In fact, I'm probably risking my own life here. You know, just talking about it. Because it is... Without a shadow of doubt, the worst Gundam thing I've ever seen up until now. I mean, I'm probably going to watch F91. A friend of mine who bought that DVD, by the way, told me that F91 wasn't good. I'm still going to watch it anyways. And if I hate it, I hate it. But at least I can come out saying, well, at least it wasn't G-Savior. <sighs> okay. Where do I start talking about G-Savior? Hmm. Well, for starters, watching this film, it feels, it clearly doesn't feel like a Gundam movie. Yes, there's mobile suits in it. But if you look at the film and look how it's structured, it feels like it could have been any other generic sci-fi movie and it became a Gundam IP at the last minute. I say this because, well, for, it, it just, it really doesn't feel that much like a Gundam show. We could, they don't even say the word mobile suit until an hour into the film, when we're about to get into the last act. I mean, yeah, you do see 
really bad CG mobile suits in the background in a couple scenes, but you never really see any action sequences with them. You don't see any battles with them until the final act. Um, the, 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 the titular G savior, which is the Gundam in the show, doesn't show up until an hour in. And man, they don't even call it a Gundam. You know what? You know, let me. You guys know. Here's the funny part. This is supposed to be in canon with the Universal Century timeline. Yeah, the same timeline that's shared with the original series, Zeta Gundam, Double Zeta, Shars Counterattack, and later on Unicorn and NT. But yet they do nothing with it. They don't make references or throwbacks. Or, like, for example, when they first introduced the G-Savior, not one of those guys go up and say, Hey, it's a Gundam. The mobile suit that became a deciding factor in key wars, like the one-year war. No, they don't They don't take advantage of that. It could have taken place in an alternate universe story and it wouldn't have made a lick, lick of difference. If anything, it would have slightly improved the film. Instead, we get some plot about some weird sci-fi B plot about trying to obtain a particular bioluminescent material that would like reinvigorate the earth's agricultural system but the bad guys don't want that because they want to control some of the weaker agricultural areas by the way bad guys um they're not Xeon or some weird rising colonist faction and it's not even the federation either because according to the back of the dvd box <clears throat> the federation collapsed they don't explain how or why. And in its place, you got this Congress system called consent. That's what they're called, consent. And they dress and act like the poor man's titans from Zeta Gundam. Anyone who's familiar with Zeta Gundam knows that titans are like the biggest pieces of shit on the earth. They are scum. They, they actually make, sometimes they make Giren Zabi look like a fucking savior. They really do. But yeah, they're the bad guys. Um, I mean, going back to the whole, it barely looks and feels like a Gundam show, despite it having mobile suits in the, from the background for like two seconds at a time. Um, you look at the rest of the, the, the cinematography, it just it feels like a fucking high-res Sega CD game for the most part with the costumes and stuff. In fact, they have the, the foot soldiers are literally recycling outfits from Starship Troopers. It's confirmed on a TV Tropes page. I had my suspicions... And sure enough, my suspicions were correct. It's it's just not really that good of a movie. Um, even if you try to enjoy it on a so bad it's entertaining level, that's going to take some fucking work. Uh, you're going to have to like get some friends. Get some of your wittiest friends. Probably get one of your friends who is a Gundam aficionado. See if he can nitpick some things that are inconsistent with the Universal Century lore. I mean, one thing I notice is that the cockpits in some of the mobile suits are still pretty 0079 archaic, even though, like, I want to say Zeta Gundam onward, maybe a little bit earlier, they had the 360 camera setups, but that would require a more interesting set. Uh, clearly, they didn't have the budget for it, even though the 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 G Savior itself has a beam shield. Um, but, man... Like, this scene, most of the film is just, like, characters talking to each other, expositing shit that could easily have been cut out because, well, the audience already knows that stuff. Um, but they had to pat it out the time somehow, and, and yet the film is only 90 minutes long. That's probably the only positive thing I could say about this film, is that at least it wasn't two and a half hours long. Otherwise, I'd be wanting sweet, sweet death. Um, how I stumbled onto the copy of this, a friend of mine... <laughs> You know, he probably bought it at some cursed uh, section of a bookstore or something. Or that's what he told me. Still found an, an official DVD copy, which does have a Japanese audio track. And I heard that makes it a little bit better, but there's no subtitles with the DVD. They actually slap a disclaimer on that. It's a... So... It's not that good. Uh, holy crap, man. It was mostly boring, and regretfully, I had to watch the movie sober. Um, I wish I was a little bit buzzed, but, you know, just because I like to drink, I, I'm still a responsible person. Don't want to drink and drive. Don't ever fucking do that. No. You don't want to get a ticket. You don't want your insurance to look that, look that shit up. Don't do that.
Drive responsibly, drink responsibly. I know I feel like I'm joking, but I, I really am mean in that, dude. I don't want alcoholics thinking I should encourage them to drink more, to get themselves liver poisoning, or do something reckless, okay? But anyways, um... Yeah, when we get to the final act, uh, it, it, it obviously, it, since it was made in 1999, it, they did this with CG, and the CG looks like some early PlayStation 2 FMV bullshit all over the place, and we don't get a whole lot of mobile suit actions until the third act. I mean, we get like, we only get like two Gundam scenes. Uh, one of them is just clearing some debris in space, and the other, and the other one's during the big freaking action set piece on a colony somewhere. Um, by the way, they also have the organization known as the Illuminati. I don't know if it's supposed to be the same Illuminati in most of these, uh, fictional stories where it's supposed to be a secret organization that controls the earth, uh, the earth or whatever, but they have a, an organization called the Illuminati. Get this. They're supposed to be the good guys. They're the ones that, de that developed the G savior and did the last minute rescue. Okay. So that's kind of weird and stupid and a misuse of the word Illuminati. Even Street Fighter handled their version of the Illuminati more realistically. Um, but yeah, uh, we we don't get that. We don't get us in the mobile suit fights. Well, because it was in CG, it looked sluggish as hell. It didn't look exciting. The colors were muted, so the fucking G Savior itself, um, it was in muddy colors. And it just had a pretty terrible design because of it. Uh, I mean, so, and I can't even recognize some of the other mobile suits. I think some of them were actually called Bugoos or Boogoos, the, the prototype uh, Xeon uh, mobile suits. And it, it, it just, it really wasn't all that entertaining, man. Um, but I did want to see it because I was hoping to get a good laugh. And I like to riff on things with my friends because I do like watching bad stuff. I like watching garbage. I mean... We saw two Twilight movies together, and we didn't have that much fun, just so you know. But we did have fun ripping it. Um, same with movies like Southland Tales. So, obviously, G. Savior was gonna be on, uh, should be on that list. But like I said, man, uh, even if you're trying to watch it ironically by yourself, it's no Tommy Wiseau's The Room. You're not going to enjoy it, because it is mostly just a dull film. Um, get some friends, maybe get some booze. And then sit down and watch it. But uh, if you're looking for a good Gundam show, obviously this isn't this isn't where you want to go. In fact, I'm pretty sure both Sunrise and the fans have deemed this entry non-canon. Um, rightfully so. Uh, gee, again, no reason for it to be on in, in the Universal Century timeline. None. They did nothing with it. No references to Shar, which, by the way, if, if, if they did, I can if they, you know, if Shar were still were alive in that timeline, it takes place in UC two hundred and twenty something or thirty something, and so it takes place like way after Victory Gundam. But if Shar was still around, I can kind of see him siding with Gaia, trying to re reinvigorate the Earth because he is an environmentalist. But like outside of that, they don't they don't take advantage of it. Which, which is why this film feels like a typical generic sci-fi movie that got stapled as a Gundam IP at the last minute. Alright. Anyways, I think I'm just running myself around in circles here. But that is uh, G-Savior for you guys. It is a dumpster fire. Um, uh, wish, I, wish I had something to drink at the time. So... How should I wrap this video up? I'll try to get more anime content out there. Keyword try. I am watching some anime though. I've been watching Motokoi. I've been watching Kicking Ashura. I've even been watching a little bit of Kimiguri Orange Road. I don't know if I'm going to review any of those. I might actually do quick talks about some other Gundam shows I already watched. Because I did see Zeta Gundam and, and um, Char's Counterattack. I could probably briefly talk about those on a separate video. But that's all I got. And uh, hey, this is uh, reasonably length. So guys, with that said, this is Dark Screen signing out. Oh, and to the friend that, uh, that uh, got this... Uh, I'm really sorry that you bought this because this this definitely 
This definitely is going to probably paint a bullseye on your back, too. Sunrise might get you. So take care, everybody.